We're honored to be joined tonight by one of the people who is going to help us build this incredible future. And he is a truly incredible guy. And I don't say that that often. He's a great gentleman. He's done such an unbelievable job for North Carolina, for Georgia, for Alabama, for Florida, for Tennessee. His name is Elon Musk. He saved free speech. He created so many different great things. Where, the, where is he? Come on up here, Elon. He created the first major American car company in generations, and his rocket company is the only reason we can now send American astronauts into space. Come here. Take over, Elon. Yes, take over. Hi, everyone. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA. Um, well, first of all, I, I want to say what an honor it is to, to be here. And, uh, you know, the, the, the true test of someone's character is how they behave under fire. And we, we, we had one president who couldn't climb a flight of stairs <laughs> and another who was fist pumping after getting shot. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Blood coming down the face. Now, America is the home of the brave. And there's no truer, there's no truer test than courage under fire. So, that, who do you want representing America? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I, th I think this, this, this election, I think it's the most important election of our lifetime. This is, this is no ordinary election. Uh, the other side wants to take away your freedom of speech. They want to take away your right to bear arms. They, they want it, it, we're, we're, to. They want to take away your right to vote effectively. You got 14 states now that, that don't require voter ID. Calif California, where I used to live, um, is just just passed a law banning voter ID for voting. How, I, I still can't believe that's real. So. How are you supposed to have a good, a pro proper election if there's no ID? It's just meaningless. And, 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 and free speech, free speech is the bedrock of democracy. And if, if people don't know what's, what's going on, if they don't know the truth, how can, you, how can you make an informed vote? You must have free speech in order to have democracy. That's why it's the First Amendment. And the, and, the, and the Second Amendment is there to ensure that we have the First Amendment. <laughs> President Trump must win to preserve the Constitution. He must win to preserve democracy in America. Yes. It, this, this, is, this is a must-win situation. Must win. So I have, I have one, one ask for everyone in the audience, everyone who watches this video, any, any, everyone on the live stream. There's, there's one request. It's very important. Register to vote. Okay? And, and get everyone you know and everyone you don't know, <laughs> drag them to register to vote. There's only two days left to register to vote in Georgia and Arizona. 48 hours. Like, text people now. <laughs> now. Oh, and then make sure they actually do vote. If they don't, this will be the last election. That's my prediction. Nothing's more important. Nothing's more important. 
Um, so get everyone you know. Everyone, so speaking to people out there, everyone in the crowd, I think, is already convinced. Uh, but uh, for people out there that are watching the video, watching the live stream, you need to get everyone you know every, at, at work, your friends, family, tech, text groups, your social media, everything, get them to register to vote right now. Only two days left for Georgia and Arizona. Only a couple weeks left in Pennsylvania. And, and if, if, if they're not registered to vote, it doesn't matter at that point. Register to vote. I'm being repetitive for a reason, okay? So nothing is more important. Um, and a lot of people think maybe their vote doesn't count. Well, it does, okay? It does. It matters. And this election could be decided by 1,000 votes, 500 votes, it could, it, a tiny margin. So get everyone you know to register to vote. I believe that's swap, swapthevote.com. I believe that's the, the site. If you, and double check that, you, that your registration is good. Don't take it for granted. Um, I'm just being repetitive about this point because it, it is the one takeaway, more than anything, that will matter is getting those registrations and then, and then getting everyone you know to actually vote. That is what will decide this election, especially in Pennsylvania. So, 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 so thank you, and, and, and honestly, I, you, you, you want to just be a pest. Just <laughs> be a pest to everyone you know, people on the street, everywhere. Vote, vote, vote. Fight, fight, fight. Vote, vote, vote. Thank you. What a great guy. And he'd rather be making rocket ships, because he'd really rather do that. Nobody better. I think he's got 90 percent of the rockets that go up. But, uh, Elon, thank you very much. Incredible. Incredible. What he says is true. What he says is true. You know, we're all having fun here tonight. But if we don't register and if we don't vote, we're just going to look upon this as another sort of nice day in our life. But it won't even be a nice day. We're going to look back and we're going to say, uh, Wow. It's a lot of time, a lot of effort. We've got to win. If we don't win, it's, uh, as he said, it's just not important. We have to save our country, so you have to get out and vote. You've got to get out and vote. You've got to get your friends and vote, because, you know, they play a lot of tricks, this particular other side. Elon's a very nice guy. He doesn't want to say it, but they play a lot of tricks. We can't let it happen. We can't let it happen again. We can't let it happen. And one thing, they showed us how bad they are. They showed us how bad a job they do. So. That's one thing we got from this four years. They've done the worst job. That's the worst president in the history of our country. It's the worst vice president in the history of our country. And if you watched over the last couple of days, they, they are doing — this is a Katrina for them. This is one of the worst — they say it's the worst job ever done on helping people through the ravages of a hurricane. And they're watching — she's out there campaigning in San Francisco, a place that she ruined. Okay, she ruined. She ruined San Francisco. She ruined — think of this. She ruined San Francisco. She was the worst DA. And she ruined the state of California. And now she wants to ruin the United States of America. We can't let her do it. So 